Good morning, everyone. We're going to be live here. Let me. Fly. There we go. Good morning, everyone. I'm in a little different place today. Um, Jay Turrent is on. Good to have you here today. We've, I've had a little challenge this morning. As you'll see, I'm not in my office. Um, our server computer crashed. And so I've got a big temporary server in there that makes all kinds of no noise. Hi, hey Flo, good to see you. Um, and so I had to move out here onto our sales floor and uh, give this a try. So, you know, it's going to be a little odd here. I'm not quite sure <laughs> where to uh, look and I've got my computer in a different place. So just bear with me today. In fact, you could just don't watch it. Just listen. Terry, I see you're on. Good to have you here this morning. And uh, Jim Rohr is on. Good to have you. And uh, we are we are going to be talking about uh, Seth Godin's uh, blog post from earlier this week. And uh, he is just always one of my favorites. He's so concise, which I am not, as you know. Hello from Norway. Good to have you. I actually have a friend in Norway right now that is visiting her grandchild over there. So I think we're going to go live here on Facebook. Um, hang on just a second. Let's, let's see if that is going to go. We can see you just fine. Good, good deal. I feel so discombobulated out here. So here we go. Um, so if you've never joined me before, I see some new names on here and it's good to have you. My name is Vicki Adrian and I am a longtime retailer and um, just passionate about small business. If you're a small business person, it just doesn't matter um, what kind of business you're in. We have all kinds of people join us here in the morning because our uh, basically our struggles and challenges are very, very similar. And so today we're going to be talking about getting clarity in your marketing message. And this was um, this was inspired by um, a blog post that one of my favorite authors, Seth Godin, published earlier this week. And uh, I'm just calling it Awareness, Time, Trust, and Action. And so this is episode 166. So here we go. This is from Seth. Um, marketing research, so ads, PR, sponsorships, and all of that is not about one thing. It's actually about three things. Um, awareness is a simple ping. Um, oh, she's running for president. Oh, they just opened one in our neighborhood. Oh, they're having a sale. Um, but trust is far more complicated. Trust comes from experience. It comes from word of mouth, from actions that are noted. Trust, amazingly, also seems to come from awareness. Um, as seen on TV is a perverse way to claim trust. Um, but in fact, when people are more aware of what you do, it often seeps into sort of a trust. And then action is what happens when someone actually goes and votes or actually goes and buys something um, or shows up or talks about it. And action is as complex as trust. So action requires um, Action requires overcoming the status quo. Action means that someone has dealt with their fears that, that can come with change and felt that fear, um, that fear of still getting something done. Um, many people um, who are reading this blog post are aware that they can buy a new mattress, for example, and might believe it's worth the effort, but they don't take action. And so, so instead of having your mattress for eight years, like they recommend, all of a sudden, You've been in the same mattress for 10 years or 20 years. So many people reading this are aware that they can buy a tool or get a treatment or visit a foreign land or listen to a new recording. But action is the difficult part. So action is just quite rare. Um, for most people, the story of later is seductive enough that it appears to be better to wait than to leap. And so as a marketer, part of the challenge that we have is figuring out which of these three elements you need the most help with and then focusing on that. So first of all, if you're not getting Seth Godin's um, daily emails, I would just implore you to sign up today. Just go to SethGodin.com, sign up. They are short and sweet and very concise, and I always get something rich from them. 
So second, we're going to talk a little bit about marketing. So like Seth says, part of the challenge is figuring out which of these three elements that you need the most help with and then focusing on that. So are your customers aware of you? Um, do they know that your business even exists? So if you're a brick and mortar business like I am, um, do you have signage in a storefront that is inviting? Um, on a recent Periscope episode, my friend Sue Monheit talked about a local business in her area up near Chicago that had been in a leased building for a year and her landlord failed to hang up her outdoor signage. Um, the sign was made, it, it, it was ready to go, and he just would not get it done. In fact, it's still not done. And um, this is just something he will not allow her to hang it or to have someone hang it, but yet he won't do it. And so she is really kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. And it's probably going to come to the point where she's going to have to actually sue him to get her sign hung. So in the meantime, she her business is really suffering. She is um, just having trouble. Um, getting people in the door and she has tried everything she knows of she's got banners hung in the window but it still looks like a um you know a business that's not quite functioning quite quite right so on this same subject does your business have a virtual presence um, most stores that i know have a facebook page and many have instagram or pinterest or um you know all all of those um but are you actively engaging with your customers on those platforms? And just because you have a Facebook page, if you're not posting to it, you're not showing up in their newsfeed. So you've got to actively participate in it. So next, have you created a trusted relationship with your clients? Do you advertise great customer service only to have your clients treated with maybe rudeness by someone or even worse, just with indifference? Are, is your staff trained that every single person that comes in is that very valuable customer? And, um, you know, we want to show them the utmost of respect. These days, um, brick and mortar businesses especially, our, our business is here today, gone tomorrow without great customer service. So another part of building a trusting relationship with your clients is that you stay in contact with them. Many of you are absolutely remarkable retailers who work hard to bring your customers great content in your weekly emails, um, through thank you notes, through outstanding events, and um, just much more. So um, all of these components set you apart from the big box stores and by providing an experience that our customers just can't get online. So lastly, Seth talks about the rarity of those who take action. So as business owners, we must take action to make sure that people are aware of us, know that they would benefit from doing business with us, and that we can be trusted to take care of them. So Gina Vineyard, who's the owner of Simply Creative in Wheatland, Wyoming, called yesterday afternoon after listening to a uh, to John Maxwell live. He had a live call yesterday and I was so sad to have to miss it, but she shared a few of the takeaways um, from his event. And I just love visiting with Gina. She, she makes me feel like a million bucks, to be honest. Um, but Gina is an action taker and I've watched Gina develop over the last four or five years now. And um, she transformed her flower shop in the little town of Wheatland, Wyoming, by adding a, a fashion boutique when the store next to her went out of business. She bought or leased the building, I can't remember, made an opening between the two, and literally transformed her business in her small town. But um, she took action. The other thing she's done to take action is she has held like painting classes. Gina's very creative. And so in her flower shop, she has taught painting classes and held fashion shows. She just did a fashion show in a snowstorm. We talked about that yesterday. Um, but she, her marketing calendar is full. She has things going on all the time. And that brings people in. She has taken action. So. Um, Gina's also just working hard to become an inspirational mentor to both her team members and to her children, including her 12-year-old son, who has to endure listening to me every morning as they drive to school. Um, 
uh, where she exposes him to live Periscope episodes and other great business training. And uh, I just have to tell you, it reminds me of growing up in my parents' car. We listened to Zig Ziglar talk all the time. We got so sick of hearing Zig Ziglar talk. But I can tell you, it was absolutely transformational in the lives of their five children, myself and my four sisters. So, you know, if you've got small children, or if you've got children at home, expose them to the world of entrepreneurship. Expose them to the world of being a positive thought leader. So, here we go. How about you? Um, it sounds like the choice is up to us. Um, are we part of the majority? Um, who will decide to wait until later, which may never come? I mean, if you're a perfectionist, like I tend to be, I want all my ducks in a row before I start something. We need to jump. Sometimes we just have to jump. Um, or are you in the small, small minority of people who will actually take action to move our business or, or our life forward? So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's always just such a pleasure and a privilege to talk to you in the mornings. And um, I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you go out there and take action. If you haven't sent a weekly email out this week, just get it done. Even if it's a picture and a little description, get it out the door. Send your customers a note. Think of that as just a, sending them a note. Don't think of it as an epic email. Just send them a note. So if you're listening today and you're not already on the Remarkable Retailer um, Facebook page, please go over there and click like. And I've got a couple of viewers on Facebook Live. It's so good to have you. I'm still learning and experimenting with that. And if you're not on our email list, if you'd go over to RemarkableRetailer.com and um, just sign up for our email list, we will send you some free goodies to get you going today. And um, you know, I just want you to know I appreciate each and every one of you joining me. I look forward to seeing you again, uh, probably not tomorrow, but I'll see you on Monday morning. And uh, let's just go build America one little storefront at a time. Um, this is a great country, a great place to be, and I am so thankful um, that we have the freedom to start a little business and to grow that business into something that thrives. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.